Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration to pray. But we do not pray alone. Jesus prays with us. Jesus prays for us. And so to prepare ourselves to pray in this celebration of the Mass, 
Let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, how can any one of you with a case against another dare to bring it to the unjust for judgment instead of to the holy ones? Do you not know that the holy ones will judge the world? If the world is to be judged by you, are you unqualified for the lowest low courts? Do you not know that we will judge angels? Then, why not everyday matters? If, therefore, you have courts for everyday matters, do you sit as judge people of no standing in the church? I say this to shame you. Can it be that there is not one among you wise enough to be able to settle a case between brothers? But rather brother goes to court against brother, and that before unbelievers? Now indeed then it is, in any case, a failure on your part that you have lawsuits against one another. Why not rather put up with injustice? Why not rather let yourselves be cheated? Instead, you inflict injustice and cheat, and this to brothers. Do you not know that the unjust will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor boy prostitutes, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor robbers will inherit the kingdom of God. That is what some of you used to be, but now you have had yourselves washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the Spirit of our God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in His people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. 
Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all His faithful. Alleluia! The Lord takes delight in His people. Please stand. chose you from the world that you may go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Cariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, I thank all of you today for joining me in prayer this afternoon. Whenever we gather at the table of the Eucharist, we gather to pray. And whenever we pray, especially in the Eucharist, we do not pray alone. First of all, we pray with Jesus. In our Gospel reading today, we see an important part of the ministry of Jesus. 
Jesus did not just preach. Jesus did not just heal. Jesus did not just exorcise demons from people. First and foremost, Jesus prayed. Tuwing si Jesus ay gagawa ng kanyang ministeryo at paglilingkod sa mga tao, lagi siyang nagdarasal. At hindi lamang po niya pinagdarasal ang kanyang sarili, pinagdarasal niya tayo. Kaya nga, bago siya pumili ng labindalawang apostol, bago siya magpahayag ng mabuting balita, bago siya magpagaling ng mga may sakit, pinagdasal muna niya sila. Before choosing the twelve apostles, before healing the sick and preaching the good news to the poor, Jesus prayed for them. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, the Word of God assures all of us today, you are not alone when you pray. Jesus is praying for you. In fact, Jesus prays with you to the Father. Sana po huwag niyong iisipin na tuwing nagdarasal kayo mag-isa, mag-isa lang kayong nagdarasal at wala kayong kasama. Sa bawat pagdarasal at pananalangin natin, kasama natin si Jesus. Nagdarasal kapiling natin nagdarasal para sa atin. And this is also the message of our first reading today in the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, reminding the church community in Corinth not to fight with one another. That is not the mark of being a Christian within the community. The community of the followers of Jesus are known not when they fight with one another, but when they love one another, when they pray together. So, thank those who are beside you today. It means they love you because they are praying with you. I can see a community of religious sisters here in front. When your companion sister in the community does not pray with you, then it means she does not love you. So it is important to pray together. Because when one prays with each other, then it means you love one another. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist, whenever the church prays together, it means Jesus is here. He is praying with us. He is praying for us. One time, a person asked me, Father, why is it that during the consecration at the Mass, you speak the words very slowly? Alam niyo po, hindi naman ako talaga ganyan dati. Dati mabilis lang ako, no? During consecration, uh, I always say the words very quickly. But later on, once I attended a mass of a priest, and this older priest, whenever he uh, says the word of consecration, he says it very slowly and solemnly. 
Then I realized that whenever I say the words of consecration, this is my body, this is my blood, it is not me who is speaking. It is Jesus speaking the words with me. And if I am aware of that reality, then you will say those words very carefully and prayerfully because I am aware that it is not just I alone praying. It is Jesus praying with me and praying for me. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us remember that we are not alone in prayer. Jesus is praying with us and for us. Amen. Please stand. God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. For every petition, let us say, Father, hear us in Christ. Father, hear us in Christ. That the Church, through the Pope and bishops, may lead us to fullness of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father hear, hear us, us in Christ. Christ. That statement may guide our nation to the future stability and development of our nation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father hear, hear us in, in Christ. Christ. That we may persevere and be faithful in the vocation God has called us to undertake, let us pray to the Lord. Father, hear us in Christ, that the old, the sick, and the lonely may realize God's presence in their trials and difficulties, let us pray to the Lord. Father, hear us in Christ, that the dead may rest in the peace of God's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father hear, hear us in Christ. Almighty God, as we make these prayers, we come to do your will. Accept us in your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.